Take three. I'm a rambly guy. Um, <laughs> hi, my name is Squally Green Thumb. If you are watching this video, that means that you are one of my 12 friends who is subscribed to my YouTube channel. But I don't know if any of you guys clicked that bell. So, click that bell. Anyway, um, my name is Squally Green Thumb. I am a musician. I am a... This is my third spinal surgery coming up. So I'm a two-time spinal surgery survivor. Yeah! Um, and I am a medical marijuana patient. And I am, was, an aspiring, maybe someday professional wrestler. Until I found out that I had two slipped discs in my neck. Um, on either side of my C6. Uh, and that sucked to hear because I really... I was ready to start professional wrestling school. Um, it was something that was very important to me because of my two previous back surgeries kind of leaving me feeling useless. Not that I did much um, in the way of physical activity back then, but I, uh, you know, I was a musician. I was in a band that had been doing fairly well before my back first went out and then um we kind of peaked while I was out um <laughs> uh, no I, I we we continue to be good after my surgery but still I missed out on a lot um I was sick of missing out on things and I was sick of laying around doing nothing um and so I started getting into shape and spent four years prepping my body to go to professional wrestling school and then it turned out that the two years that I was uh, feeling pain in my shoulder blade and sometimes here and sometimes down my arm and sometimes all the way to my pinky was two slip discs in my neck and I was not allowed to go to professional wrestling school as planned. Um, so I don't know if... You can relate to any of that, but I'm sure what you can relate to is uh, finding out that you need the surgery and being scared um, because nobody is excited about somebody digging around their neck and nobody is excited about the need for somebody to dig around in their neck. Um, and... I'm kind of morbid, so after I found out exactly what they were going to do, I went to YouTube, tried to find videos of what they were going to do. Um, also, just because I've had surgeries before, this is, you know, this is not my first rodeo, and I'm kind of used to the idea. Um, but it's still scary, still sucks. Um, and something that I noticed that wasn't really a thing... Uh, when I had my last two spinal surgeries is there is an entire YouTube community of people who are having these surgeries and making videos about the before and after um, I figure and they those people helped me out a lot leading up to this so I figured I'd pay it forward um, but also a lot of those people were um, not as active as me um, so, I didn't have, like, a good reference that in that way of, like, somebody who was very active and then, um, and then having to go into the surgery. Um, and then there's a guy named Randall Fowler who, uh, has a video about, um, his recovery and stuff, and he, uh has always been active his entire life. He was like a high school football player or some shit. So that gave me like a better gauge, but I'm also like, I'm not, 
and in as good a shape as him. So, um, I figured I'm like the middle ground. And if any of you are in the middle ground, then this could be helpful for you, my videos. Also, if you choose these over Percocet, which is what I am going to be doing, which is what I do, because fuck that shit, um, then this will also be a helpful series of videos for you, I hope. I hope it's not just me rambling, uh, <laughs> which it will be, but, um, yeah, you yeah. know, my surgery is tomorrow, which is Monday, May 13th, 2019. Today is Mother's Day and my mother's birthday. So this is the only part of the day that is about me. The rest of the day is about taking care of her because she's going to be taking care of me. Um, I am nervous, um, but not too nervous because I know my surgeon very well. And he's one of the best in the world, really. I live in Boston. Um, it's where all the great medical schools are. And if you... And everybody's goal is to stay in Boston pretty much after they graduate. So if you're uh, if you're a surgeon in Boston, the odds are you're like already in a higher caliber. And this guy, his name is Dr. Tony Tenori. Um, sometimes it's hard to lock him down because he has to like go all over the world and teach other medical schools how he does things because he does them better. <coughs> Sorry, he does them better than most people. So I'm not concerned about that. I am concerned about what my life is going to be like afterwards. Um, if I'm actually going to be able to go back to work after eight weeks, I'm a butcher. I have to lift heavy shit. I have to be nice with my hands, cutting up them ribeyes and tenderloins and shit. So, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And again, I'm no stranger to being confined to a post-op world of, you know, minimal movement and minimal lifting. But this is my first time doing it after um, hitting such goals as deadlifting 220 pounds and bench pressing 135 and, you know, having successful sparring matches against kids who are, you know, in their physical prime, and all this cool stuff that I got to do that I can't do anymore, and I hope I get to do someday, and hopefully I do get to be a wrestler, but, oh well, we'll see. See you guys in the next video, where I'll probably be stoned and in a sick neck brace. Peace.